wait lang, wait lang, bago mo scroll up yan, pag-usapan muna natin ngayon ang VUL. Ano ba ang Variable Universal Life Insurance? We're gonna be going deeper in terms of what type of that life insurance product is. Intro muna tayo. So, yan. so welcome back mga kwentuhan So if this is your first time in my channel Please make sure to hit that subscribe button And don't forget to hit that bell uh, Notification so that you get to be Updated of all the videos that I upload Every week related to fitness and health And financial education also And this time around we're gonna be discussing about VUL Or Variable Universal Life Insurance Oh before that tuloy muna natin Before natin ituloy ang kwentuhan natin Tungkol sa topic na yan Um, thank you muna sa lahat ng ating mga subscribers Sa inyong lahat, maraming maraming salamat Because na-reach na natin ang above 1,000 um, subscribers Just very recently And while you're watching this video Baka mga nasa above uh, 1,050 or somewhere na yung subscribers natin Thank you and for being a valid or valued uh, subscriber dito sa channel natin Alright? So usapang VUL Let's go deeper, let's start Alright, so yan, so mga kwentuhan So uh, pagkukwentuhan naman natin ngayon Is about uh, yung variable universal life insurance In the previous video that I have created uh, About types of life insurance uh, I discussed the three common basic life insurance That is available in the market here in the Philippines And if you haven't watched that video yet um, I recommend that you watch that first So that you have the basic understanding Or at least the summary of what uh, the three common life insurance or types of life insurance here is avail or available here in the Philippines. Uh, I'll put the, the link here. Just click on that link above so that you get to be able to watch that video first. All right? So uh, in this particular video, we are going to discuss or dig deeper in terms of what is a variable universal uh, life insurance and why is it that uh, in the current uh, industry or in the current market, This is one of the hot topic or hot uh, product uh, that is related to life insurance. So, pag-uusapan natin siya. And for us to be able to better understand this, uh, I'm gonna give you uh, the pros and the cons or advantage and disadvantage of yung universal life insurance so that you get to have a better understanding of it. All right? So, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's dig deeper into this life insurance type okay so just a quick disclaimer lang no mga kakwentuhan so um, the purpose of this is just for me to share knowledge of what i know with regard to uh, life insurance and some basic um, information related to financial um, literacy i would still recommend that you seek professional advice or look for a financial advisor or a registered um, life insurance agent before you get one all right Okay, so variable universal life insurance. So ano nga ba itong variable universal life insurance? In the previous video, dinify natin siya. So it's a term commonly known as VUL. And um, in short, a VUL life insurance product is a combination of two products in one. So meaning there is a life insurance and an investment component side of it also. So if you're a type of person that you wanted to get the basic uh, protection from a life insurance product and you don't have time to study the market, meaning the investment side, um, stock market, mutual funds, and the like, or um, UITF, then uh, this is a product for you because you just have to simply pay the premium. One premium, uh, depending on how you're going to set up the product, it can be monthly, quarterly, or yearly. Uh, depending on how much you're going to pay for that or the type of insurance or the amount rather, then you just simply have to pay for it and the company or the insurer where you're going to get the life insurance or the VUL, sila na yung bahala to invest the money for you. No? So, ano nga ba ang 
uh, advantages and disadvantage ng VUL insurance. And why is it that a lot of people um, who are who wanted to get a life insurance protection are choosing this product over the rest of the other types of life insurance. So let's talk about um, yung advantages muna niya, no? So uh, let's talk about five advantage ng life or VUL insurance. One is there is a minimum guaranteed death benefit that will not decrease as long as you continue to make your minimum premium payments on time. Um, ano ibig sabihin niyan? Yung guaranteed um, debt benefit amount will never change so long as you keep the insurance in effect by making that continuous premium payments that you are supposed to do in this insurance product. Second um, advantage, there is a flexible minimum and maximum premium payment options. So you have that advantage towards the rest of the types of insurance. So for you to be able to get to know the minimum, the maximum premium payment that you can put into this kind of uh, life insurance, then you just simply have to be transparent and talk to the financial advisor or a life insurance agent that you will uh, talk to once you're ready to get this kind of life insurance product. Now, since uh, there is the investment side of this insurance, then that's the third option, no? or that's the third advantage. There is that potential to earn higher than the average returns compared to other types of permanent life insurance. Because etong variable universal life insurance, just like what I said earlier, there is the investment component side of it. And mostly, uh, the insurer or the life insurance companies, uh, they usually invest the money uh, in stock market, mutual funds, and uh, yung tinatawag na bonds. Uh, that's why uh, there is a more higher potential earnings compared to other types of life insurance. Now, the fourth uh, advantage of uh, this product is that it will permit you to maintain a certain level of um, self-directed control over how your cash value is invested Meaning, um, depending on what kind of type, type of investor you are, you get to have the option to select where you want the money to be invested. So you have that power over this product. No? You just have to simply tell uh, the company where you want the money to be invested. Do you want it to be in a mutual fund? Do you want it to be in the stock market? Stock market and, or you want it to be placed in a bond uh, fund? So depending on say no, no? So maybe next time, if you wanted to know about uh, the types of investment, um, we, if it's stock market, mutual funds, or bonds, um, if you want to get to know more of that, just put the comment down below, and uh, I'll create a video for that also. Um, the, the fifth advantage of uh, this product is that it allows you to better control your individual risk tolerance. So just like what I said on the fourth advantage, depending on your... Uh, what type of investor you are, you get to have a better control of uh, how the investment will go on based on your risk tolerance. So, yeah, so now let's go to the disadvantages ng uh, VUL. No? Um, though there are more advantages of this product and why it's a hot uh, topic or a hot product right now in the life insurance industry, Siyempre, unlike, uh, siyempre, kagaya ng iba din, meron din mga disadvantages. And one of the disadvantage of availing this kind of VUL is that, um, so isa sa mga disadvantage ng VUL is that while it is true that you may experience better average cash value growth of this product or yung laki ng pagkikitain ng pera, uh, the other side of that is that you could also experience a decrease in your cash value due to poor performance of your investment options. So, hindi ibig sabihin niya, kung hindi maganda yung uh, pagkakaselect mo on what kind of investment where the money will be put into, then there could be that risk of your money losing value also. Kung mataas yung pag-gain niya, 
posibleng ma ma malaki din yung pag ng money if the investment will not be done properly. No? So that's why you really have to rethink or think uh, carefully when you talk to a financial advisor when you're ready to get this kind of product. Now, um, second disadvantage is that compared to other types of insurance, uh, yung usually yung mga fees that are associated with this product is more higher. <laughs> so, yan, no? So, more na, higher pa. So, yan. So, so usually fees are higher uh, in the VUL product compared to other universal life insurance policies. There are a lot of factors. That's why, there are a lot of factors why the fees are higher. One could be uh, the payment that, you, that has to be done uh, to the fund manager. Of course, meron dyan iba yung mga kailangan ibaya din sa mga advertisements uh, to make the insurance in effect and all other fees also. So maraming mga fees. So that's why it's usually higher. Third disadvantage is that um, VUL is more complex than most other life insurance because uh, there, you should, there has to be that close monitoring throughout the life of the policy. Dahil meron siyang investment side, so kailangan talagang ma-insure that you get to monitor it. Although, hindi ikaw yung mag-monitor mag every day, but from time to time, you have to look into uh, the progress or the movement of your investment if it's really growing or not. Because, kagaya nga no, sabi ko kanina sa advantage, you have the power over to move the product or the investment where you want the money to go to, depending if it's losing money or gaining money. So that's why, from time to time, you still have to look into the investment side of it. Now, the fourth uh, disadvantage, and I think this will be my last disadvantage based on my experience on how I see the disadvantage of this product is that usually a VUL is subject to surrender charges for a period of uh, usually mga 15 years or more uh, depending on the insurer which can be very high in the early years of the policy. Uh, this is true usually, no? Uh, similar with the fees, usually in this kind of products, ma mataas talaga yung mga fees and other uh, charges uh, in the first 10 or 15 years. But after that, it gets to uh, go down uh, as, continue, as you continue to make the premium. And sabi ko nga in the previous video, itong variable universal life insurance is a whole life insurance Meaning, um, you get to be protected your whole life, right? So, usually, ito yung mga reason kung bakit uh, matataas yung mga fees. So, yan yung disadvantage and advantages ng life insurance or VUL. So, I hope you get to have a better understanding of what this VUL life insurance product is, no? Alright, mga kwentuhan. So, that's it for that video. Uh, I hope you learned something from that and that's what you're looking for. And so, if you did learn out from that video, mga kwentuhan, please help me share this video to your friend and family para marami tayong matulungan. So, if you haven't done so, please click on that uh, thumbs up and share this video. Okay? Don't forget to subscribe also. See you again in our next video, mga kwentuhan. Bye-bye!